Anthony Grasso here, bringing you financial news you can use. In this video, I'm going to do a stock analysis on Shopify. Should we keep investing into this overvalued giant? Let's find out together. I'm going to go over a summary of the company, its product offerings, recent headline news, financials, analyst projections, and give up my buy, hold, or sell recommendation for both your short-term and long-term growth investors out there. And as always, folks, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you'd like to hear daily stock reviews and recommendations from an unbiased sort. So let's get right into it. So Shopify provides a cloud-based uh, multi channel commerce platform designed for small and medium-sized businesses the company offers subscription solutions and merchant solutions the company software is used by merchants to run their business across all of their sales channels including web and mobile uh, storefronts physical retail locations social media storefronts and marketplaces the shopify platform provides merchants with a single view of their business and customers across all of their sales channels and enables them to manage products and inventory process orders and payments, ship orders, build customer relationships, and leverage analytics and reporting all from an integrated back office. The Shopify platform includes a mobile optimized checkout system, which is designed to enable merchants consumers to buy products over uh, mobile websites. So let's look at some of the news of the company right now. So one of the biggest things coming out this week is the quarter forward earnings on the before market opening on February 17th. Now the provider of this e-commerce software um, predicts that uh, the estimates predict that the uh, earnings per share will shoot up around 188% to around $1.24 a share as revenue jumps 80% to $907 million projected. Subscription revenue is seen uh, growing 44% to 265 million on gross merchandise volume of about 38.21 billion, up about 85%. Now, shares have surged more than 30% so far this month with help from positive comments from Elon Musk. So let's go ahead and look at some of the fundamentals of the company. So the company has a current market capitalization of around $178 billion. Yes, uh, that's, uh, that's huge. With a current stock price of uh, $1,455 a share. Now, revenue is projected to be around $2.86 billion in 2020 with earnings of $239 million. Now, Shopify will become profit became profitable this year, and earnings are forecasted to grow about 40.11% per year. Now, the company's projected revenues by the end of 2024 should be around $8.88 billion with around $1.88 billion in earnings. That's kind of huge. Shop's uh, return on equity is forecast to be low in three years' time, 11.8%. And its short-term assets both exceed its long-term and short-term liabilities. Now, looking uh, at the debt level, Shopify's debt-to-equity ratio of 12.1% is considered satisfactory, and Shop's debt is well covered by operating cash flow of 31%. Now, Shop earns more interest than it pays, so coverage of interest payments is not a concern. Now, we have to look at shareholders have been diluted in the past year, and there has been significant insider trading in the past three months. Now, looking at the valuation analysis, because uh, Shopify is in the IT services industry and has positive earnings, the PE ratio is the most appropriate valuation measure. The price to book ratio is, is excluded since it uh, likely underestimates the company's book value by overlooking hidden assets such as intellectual property. Now, the price to sales ratio is not as meaningful as the PE ratio due to the company's positive earnings. So uh, Shopify is a poor value based on its PE ratio. It's 870.7 times compared to the US IT industry average of 34.6 times, but it's always traded way above uh, the PE ratio. Um, so let me bring it back here. So what do the analysts say on this one? Well, the analyst consensus is a moderate buy and the average uh, Shopify uh, stock price target is $1,275 with a high estimate of $1,650 and a low estimate of $950. And it's trading well above that for practically over the past uh, two months now. Uh, it jumped up from uh, 1137 uh, back in January 29th to its all-time high right now. Now, going over a few of the analyst reports. Now, the uh, summary, uh, the Ford Equity Research has a buy recommendation on Shopify as a result of their systematic analysis of the three basic characteristics they look at, which is earning strength, relative valuation, and recent stock price movement. Now, the company has enjoyed a very positive trend in earnings, Per share over the past five quarters and while recent estimates for the company have been raised by analysts 
uh, Shopify has posted better than expected results. Now, based on operating earnings yield, the company is overvalued when compared to all the other companies that they cover. Share price changes over the past year indicate Shopify will perform very well over the near term. And uh, uh, the street rate analysis uh, rates Shopify as a hold. The primary factors that have impacted their ratings are mixed, some indicating strength, some indicating weaknesses, with little evidence to justify the expectation of either a positive or negative performance for this stock relative to most other stocks. Now, the company's strengths can be seen in multiple areas, such as its robust uh, revenue growth, largely solid uh, financial position with reasonable debt levels by most measures, and compelling growth in net income. Now, however, as a counter to these strengths, we find that the company's return on equity has been disappointing. But based on all of that, am I a buy, hold, or sell recommendation on Shopify? Here are my thoughts. There has been lots of momentum in online sales triggered by the coronavirus pandemic and strong holiday season. The positive expectations will be driving Shopify's fourth quarter performance, which are coming out in a few days. The company is anticipated to have gained from solid uptick in uh, contactless payment hardware for retailers using the new point of sale system, uh, Shopify POS. This includes the Shopify tap and chip card reader, Shopify tap and chip case, and the Shopify retail kit. Now, Shopify has a, a shopping assistant uh, app with an aim to aid merchants, enhance customer experience and sales on the online platform uh, might be boasting sales. Um, Shopify's latest POS system helps integrate online and in-person sales in a bid to aid merchants to stay well informed of evolving e-commerce practices in the wake of evolving retail environment is noteworthy. I feel that the adoption of these new services is likely to have aided merchants in expanding business with engaging customer uh, experience. This is expected to have contributed to the fourth quarter performance and help the company expand merchant base. In addition, adoption of Shopify's easy to use upgrades and new merchant friendly uh, applications is anticipated to have bolstered adoption of Shopify payments, Shopify capital and Shopify shipping solutions in the fourth quarter, all of which may be reflected in the upcoming uh, quarter four results. Well, we're gonna find out. There's also been a rollout of new solutions, for example, Shopify balance and, and shop pay installments, which are aimed at enabling merchants to offer seamless payment options to customers. In international markets, uh, Shopify has been working on extending language capabilities beyond English, which is very important if they want to expand out in international markets. But Shopify has been increasing expenditures on product development, fulfillment network, infrastructure, and international expansion to maintain competitive position in the e-commerce market could have an impact on the fourth quarter profitability, but we're going to find out. But looking at the fundamentals of the company, it is overvalued. Everybody knows that. Everybody's been in, in this sense. It's been overvalued. It's always traded above valuation. Um, the PE ratio, I want to stress that 870.7x times compared to the US IT industry average of 34.6 times. But it has a lot of potential for revenue growth over the next uh, couple of years. So fundamentally, it's solid. Now, this stock is trading well above fair market value. Uh, if this wasn't a quite uh, high quality company, I would recommend staying away from it. But since Shopify offers solid products and has growing market opportunities for, for the years to come, the company's fundamentals are solid and are projected to be solid in the years to come. Shopify seems to check all the boxes, even though it is way overvalued, but it's always traded that way. Based on everything, I am a long-term bull on this stock, but buy in at the right price. It has a huge bull run right now over the past couple weeks. I would nibble in this one over the next few weeks because there might be some profit taking over the next week or two that might push this stock slightly lower in the near term, possibly between $300 to $1,400 a share. Now, if the company blows out fourth quarter results in the uh, on the 17th of February, there will be even more short-term upswing in this stock. So there you have it, folks. And as always, don't forget to smash that like button down below and definitely consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell if you like to hear daily stock reviews and recommendations from an unbiased source. Until the next stock update video later today, folks. Ciao.